Many of us have done it. I admit I have put off visits to the doctor for annual checkups, especially when we know we should go. Well, if you've been putting off a visit to the doctor, it's time to take charge of your health destiny. That's the theme for this year's Health Summit, sponsored by the local Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority. Event Chair Elise Mallory joins us in studio to tell us what it's so important to take charge of your health and attend the summit. Thanks for being here, Elise. Thank you. Well, is it really possible for everyone to take charge of their health destiny, especially with a myriad of health conditions that people have? Yes, it's everyone can. It's I'm a big believer in we are what, what we eat, we are what we do. And by getting tests, we get a chance to find out our status in advance. By watching what we eat, we can try to control some di different diseases before they can impact us. Well, but for so many people, you know, they know they need to get checked out, but they just have their head in the sand. And they, how do you motivate those people who know they should go or, or attend the summit? How do they? How do you motivate them to do something like this? Hopefully, the word free uh, that's will good, help them to come right there. And speaking of, so are you really gearing this for people who don't have the health insurance? Yes. The Health Summit is targeted towards our underserved, underinsured population here in the Pasadena San Gabriel Valley with a variety of different free tests that include mammograms, HIV tests, kidney, degrees, kidney disease screenings, dental screenings, eye tests, and m much, much more. Well, there are some important ones there. Um, now, obesity is, is one of the things that is a growing problem, and you know, there's so many different ways to tackle it. But how can you encourage people who've never exercised or dieted, especially older folks who've never exercised, how do you mo motivate them to get out there? Hopefully by coming out this weekend where we'll have a couple of items around Let's Move and supporting First Lady Obama, Michelle Obama's initiative, they can come out at 1015 to the auditorium at Jackie Robinson Center where we will have a workout that's geared for, that's directed towards everyone. And then everyone likes to dance. At 1230 KJLH we'll have the beats moving and we're going to get our wobble on and we're going to keep it shuffle and then we're going to do a variety of different slides. All right, they won't be able to resist that, right? <laughs> that's what we hope. Okay. <laughs> Well, you know, in, in New York City, they just banned the supersized sodas, and they're also trying to cut out the trans fat. Do you support bans like this that are good for the public health, or do you think that people need to take charge of their own health destinies and, and do it for themselves, even though that's not quite what's happening? I believe that people do need to take charge of their own health destiny. I think it's a shame that it comes to the point of it needing to be banned or dictated, but I think a lot of people don't understand what's good for themselves and what's not. Well, um, one of the events that you have is Ask the Pharmacist. What would someone ask a pharmacist versus a doctor? Well, sometimes people don't understand what different medicines mean or how they should, how different things can inter interact. They can stop and talk to the pharmacist, get some questions answered. There may be questions that they don't want to ask their doctor so they can stop by and talk to the pharmacist. So maybe they just haven't been feeling well and then they realize, well, I'm taking all these different drugs and, and they're interacting adversely with each other. Is that? That's a possibility. I don't know all the questions that people might ask, but we wanted to provide an environment where people can get some of their questions answered. And if they haven't been going to the doctor, maybe they will be inspired to go ahead and take that next step or take advantage of the services that will be right there. So they can also ask a doctor as well. There'll be plenty of those at this event, correct? Well, we have, um, we have, we have our pharmacists and then we'll also have the National Kidney Foundation that will have some doctors available and then we have USC Pharmacy School that will also be available and bringing doctors and training. All right, well, this seems like a really important event. I'm sure it's gonna be very busy with a lot of people struggling with health insurance. Um, so how can people find out more? They can go to AKA hyphen ELO dot ORG. And, and that's the sorority website, correct? That's the sorority website. They can click on our community. They can find out all the information that they want or need. And the event is this Saturday at the Jackie Robinson Center at 1020 North Fair Oaks Avenue here in Pasadena. All right, well, they should go just to hear the music, if nothing else, correct? <laughs> Absolutely. All right, well, I'll get out there and have some fun. Thank you for joining us again, Elise. We uh, love to have you back and tell us all about this free event. Thank you. All right. 
Well, that's it for this newscast, but check out crowncitynews.com for more stories. Thanks to Ibrahim Naeem and Elise Mallory for joining us in studio. Thanks to all of our sponsors, including Southern California Edison, Wink Marketing, the Pasadena Enterprise Center office building with available space, and our newest sponsor, Dr. Fareed Zarif. Thanks also to the CCN crew. They make this show possible. And finally, we thank you for watching CCN Crown City News. Join us each week as we cover the news in Pasadena and the San Gabriel Valley. For all of us here at CCN, I'm Sunita Joshua Madison. Have a great week.